I had land, I'd get four or five dogs. Four or dogs. five dogs. You'd get four or five dogs, no woman? Not even Dixon? She's a friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> I mean, it's a minor detail, but in an investigation, details matter. I like that. I'm gonna use it. Mine is yours. So, you have a theory? Yeah, there's been no indication of black market fuel sales anywhere on or around the base. So how does all that fuel go missing? Best way to make gas disappear is to burn it up. Exactly. Now, Neely's got the bulk fuel experience, and she thinks all the Humvee flights are intentionally being overfueled. But when those planes land, the amount of fuel in the tanks is exactly what's expected, and that gets logged into the books. So how does that happen? The excess fuel is being used to transport more weight than people realize is on the plane. <laughs> Something heavy and secret is being moved. Exactly. Contraband in the Humvees, drugs, guns, stolen cash, all of the above. Good work, Dixon. You just found a case worthy of our attention. I don't know about you, but all the sleuthing's made me thirsty. I'll go celebrate. Will you buy me a drink? I gotta keep working on these reports. Maybe next time. Yeah. But again, excellent work, Dixon. Yeah, no problem. Like I said, numbers always tell the story. We're gonna wrap this up in a big way. Unfortunately, you're not, Major. At ease. I need to speak to you alone, Reacher. It's about Operation Kite Runner. Respectfully, anything you can say to me about the case can be said in front of Dixon. She's been working this matter from the beginning. Knows it better than anybody. Very well. I respect you too much to pussyfoot this thing. The Colonel's promotion's going through. He's gonna be stationed in South Korea at a base right near the demilitarized zone. It's gonna be announced sometime in the next three weeks. Waiting for the shoe to drop or tense. The Colonel's been gunning for this promotion 20 years. There's no way a drug operation that happened right under his nose is gonna be publicized in a huge bust. It's not a good look and it would be a bad mark in his otherwise stellar military career. As a result, Operation Kite Runner will be shut down immediately. This is bullshit. Don't let our friendship affect your judgment. We don't have a friendship. We have a familiarity. With all due respect to that familiarity, this is bullshit. Major Reacher, this is what will go into your report. Five misdemeanor charges for drug use only. No charges for dealing, conspiracy, or misappropriation of military resources. One defendant will do time in the break. Four will get probation. All will receive honorable discharges. That's it. Looks like I'm not the only one who couldn't sleep. Numbers relax me. I figured if I was going to do math, I might as well make some walking around money. Stand. Ma'am, you're showing 10 and 8 on two of your hands. That's right. And I could double down and risk it all for potentially larger payout. Or I could stand. And we have a guaranteed win because the next card out of that shoe is going to bust you. My grandmother always said pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. She's no hog. I'm no hog, so I'm going to stand. As you wish. Fifteen. Oh! Too many. Congratulations, ma'am. You're having a very lucky night. Maybe you'd like to celebrate with a concert on us. Thank you. Ladies of the 80s, Debbie Gibson, Tiffany, and Taylor Dane performing their biggest hits. If you hurry, you can actually catch a second half. I'm having fun. And we know you are counting cards. Which isn't illegal if you do it in your head. But seeing that your chief of security was kind enough to comp us a suite, I'll cut you some slack. I'm use those muscles and help me carry these to the cashier window. You can give these tickets to the guy in the members only jacket. It looks like you would enjoy some 80s ladies. Is that why? Back in the day, you and I never happened. Our steps were the hardest. How much did you drink back at the hotel room? I don't have to ask you that question. I mean, come on, Richard. It's not like I didn't drop any hints. I was your boss. It wouldn't have been right. Wow. Well, I waited years for that answer, and it's pure Reacher. 
direct, honest, and well-reasoned. Kids, we just wrote our names in it. I'm thirsty. Want to get a beer? Anything on New Age? Yeah, looks like New Age is an aerospace company. Any ties to Atlantic City? Not that I can see. Headquarters are based in New York. Looks like a piece of shrapnel bit me. I noticed all the adrenaline pumping. Barely winged you. What you doing? What my mom used to do in the alcohol stuff. Hmm. You know, you're probably just blowing germs into it. Probably. But it feels good. Thanks. Welcome. You know, Richard, it's perfectly normal to be lonely sometimes. Anyone living your life the way you do would. You don't have to be lonely tonight. And you're not my boss anymore. There's no better time to get a move on. To move on from you. Just you move on. Morning, Dixon. We need to talk to you about what happened last night. Oh, the whole hotel heard what happened last night. Told you you were loud. Major sure knew what he was doing when he put us together, didn't he? Guy's got good instincts. Guy's got good everything. Ew. <laughs> I'm just saying. Never thought I'd have the chance to find out. Please. Everyone saw that coming like Haley's Comet. I didn't. I honestly thought he wasn't interested. As soon as the alarm goes off, hit your timers. Closest police station's four miles away. Call has to be routed through a central service, and they can't do more than 60 on some of these surface streets. Too many turns to get back here. To be safe, no more than two minutes to get where you can and meet at Dixon's car. And if I'm late, don't wait for me. You see Reacher? Nope. But he said not to wait for him. Shit. We gotta go. No, I'm not leaving him here. I don't want to go either, but I don't defy an order from Jack Reacher. He said go, we go. Hey! Stop! Can't believe you were gonna leave me. Asshole. We've been attacked by bikers. Shot at by hitmen and almost blown up. I mean, to put it mildly, I've got some pent up tension. I know you've got this rule sleep when you can, but. It's not that firm of a rule. Now you can actually get yourself something with the money. Please, Richard. You deserve it. Do it for me. 
Okay. There's something else you can do. Amen. Come home with me. I really want you to meet my parents. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Look, I don't know about you, but I see what we've been doing these past few days not so much as new business, but old business. Old business that really needed to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. Damn right it did. And before this meeting's adjourned, I think this particular item needs one last going over. I second that motion. But I saw Donald out front and I told him that I'd share a cab with him to the airport, so I've only got him. This might take more than a minute. That's not what O'Donnell said. Thank mm -hmm. you.